Okay, guys, I know that we have a lot of fun here on the channel together, but today I need you guys to lock in and be serious because we need to answer humanity's most important question right now. Could 100 unarmed men beat one silverback gorilla in a fight to the death? <sighs> yeah, I could cut the tension in the air right now with a UK street machete. You see, a wrong, wrong time ago, in the depths of a who would win subreddit, the 100 men versus one gorilla conundrum was born. Two years later in 2022, it started scratching some heads on TikTok, but nothing crazy. But then three years after that, an unlikely hero emerged. Mr. Dream Chasing Mike randomly tweeted one day, I think 100 men, that says men, um, could beat one gorilla. Everybody just got to be dedicated to this foreign casserole. But little did he know that the dream Mike was chasing was anarchy because he just single-handedly with one tweet divided humanity. His tweet got over 290 million views. And just like that, Pandora's box was opened. Damn you, Mike. Since then, Everyone has had an opinion. Mr. Beast said he wanted to test this. Elon Musk then commented underneath, Speed got involved. It even started animal rights issues with freaking PETA, P-E-T-A, getting involved. And they said, leave animals out of your content, Mr. Beast. Feel like they kind of missed the joke. So let us put this question to bed once and for all because there is actually a very clear winner. Once I show you the scientific evidence. In fact, I am so confident with what I've put together here that 99% of you will agree with the conclusion at the end. So with that being said, let's stop the yapping and let's get... Holy shit. If I swung there, that would have been... Just slap that back on. And let's get CORRECTION! Okay, like any fight taken seriously, let us compare the stats. In our right corner, from the lowland tropical forest of Central Africa, we have Mr. Gorilla. A full-grown silverback gorilla can weigh up to 600 pounds and can lift up to 27 times their body weight. Meaning, get one of these on a bench, they would be technically be able to put up 4,000 pounds for reps. That's stronger than 20 men combined. Gorillas have been known to tear down entire banana trees and bend iron bars to escape cages. And its sheer strength isn't just the only threat. It has got one of the most powerful Powerful bite forces in the whole animal kingdom. 1,300 pounds per square inch. That's like double a lion. And just for comparison, to break through human skin, you only need about 30 pounds per square inch. And to break through a human bone, it's around 300 to 400. They have 1,300. And just so you get how easy that is for a gorilla, to bite through your forearm, it would be the equivalent of you biting into a crisp apple. That's what it would feel like. That's how easy it would be. So for the men that get grabbed, pulled in and bit, you're going to lose them instantly. Because if they get an arm or a leg, then they're going to be useless to do any damage and fight back. And if they get their head, RIP. And that's just their attack. They've also got incredible defense. This thing is a tank. Not only are their muscles dense as sh but their bones are as well. So good luck for any of the guys trying to break a gorilla's bone without a weapon. <laughs> and along with that, their skin is a lot tougher than humans because they have to be out in the wild and fend off the whippersnappers trying to bite them. Anyway, enough on Mr. Gorilla. Let's talk about in our left corner. Where's my mic? In our left corner from everywhere on earth, we have Mr. Human. We know a lot about humans, all right? So don't need to go into detail. We've only got two things that could be two stats better than gorillas. The first 
is intelligence. Even the dumbest humans are smarter than the smartest gorillas. And the other impressive stat that we've got is stamina and endurance. Humans are known to have chased down animals 10 times faster than them simply because that animal that they were chasing collapsed because of exhaustion. I mean, that is how we hunted for centuries. You might not have known this, but our little secret weapon to do that is sweat. See, most animals, they have to stop to regain their stamina. But humans, our sweat allows us to, you know, get rid of our heat while never having to actually stop. However, and this is what makes it interesting, Mr. Gorilla in our right corner, they are actually one of the few other species that have the ability to sweat. However, nowhere near our ability. But with the stats laid out, it is time for the fight. Okay, first of all, let's get some ground rules very clear. Both the gorilla and the humans have no fear of death. That, that needs to be okay. Number two, it is a full size silverback gorilla versus 100 average size males. That's five foot nine, 170 pounds, average fitness level. The humans have no weapons, just hands and bare feet, and maybe a loincloth. Yeah, they're allowed a loincloth, fine. And four, keep in mind the gorilla, yes, is massive, but it's not King Kong. I am seeing so <laughs> Some of these simulations that people are making and it is it's not accurate Some of these simulations look like the gorilla is like eight foot tall and they're like hitting these humans and they're flying in the air So that's not a good one gorillas hunched over with how they normally walk around. They're like four foot five so for reference, I'm Probably I'm, I'm probably about okay being generous. I'm at least six three um, but you could, it's 6'2", all right. So for reference, 6'2". So a gorilla would be like, pfft, round about here. But then standing up, which they rarely do, but they do, they're about, they can be about six foot. So then, yeah, maybe about, about here, you know? Again, reference 6'3", roughly. Okay, ground rules, let's fight. Oh, and also one more thing, just so you know that this is accurate. All of this I have compiled together in a beautiful narrative arc referencing three studies and one episode of National Geographic. Maybe two. Round one! The 100 men, they fan out and they create like a circle around the gorilla. He beats his chest and you hear 100 simultaneous gulps. The gorilla launches forward and pushes 500 pounds of mass with his quad strength that can push him 25 miles an hour. And first contact is made. The gorilla slams into the first line of men. His grip strength alone shatters the first man's arm as he is flung into the air like a rag doll. Another guy takes a backhand swipe back that caves in part of his skull. Around 10 to 15 men try and tackle the gorilla, but it is useless. Their combined weight isn't enough to restrain him. He thrashes violently and his dense bones and his thick torso make it impossible to pin him down. Blood is spilled, limbs are broken, and it, things just look hopeless for humans. But remember, we are smart and humans adapt quickly. And they come up with a different strategy, the organized swarm. Round two. One thing you need to keep in mind, one giant Asian hornet is able to take out an entire hive alone of honeybees. Honeybees. <laughs> but you know what the good old sweet honeybees do? Dozens of these bees surround a hornet, they dogpile it, and then they start vibrating to raise the temperature to about 45 degrees Celsius, and they cook it alive. See where we're going here? And because humans actually, they, they, we know that we couldn't do any damage by punching or kicking it, they quickly come up with a different plan that doesn't need that method. You see, after taking out 15 to 20 men, the gorilla, with each punch and with each smash, his heart starts to beat faster. His fast twitch muscle fibers, which are meant for explosive movements, well, they start to weaken. His hits become less powerful. His movements start to slow as lactic acid starts filling his muscles. Because remember, even the most intense fight between two silverback gorillas, alpha males, they maximum last two minutes, maximum. The humans, they start seeing this slowing gorilla and immediately 30 men coordinate to dogpile him. They aim for his back, trying to drag him down. Some climb him, others decide to grab onto his legs, his little legs. And that leg move proves crucial because as the gorilla is stumbling around, he steps and falls on his face. And once he's down, they all see this and they react. All the remaining surviving men 
jump on him. Now, have you ever heard about how most people die in a crowd crush? It's not because their torsos cave in. Well, although that does happen. It's mostly because down on the floor, low down, or even, you know, among everyone really tight in, there is very little oxygen and a lot of <sighs> carbon dioxide. And it's at this point, underneath 30 to 40 men, the gorilla is thrashing. But now there's no leverage. There's no space. His arms are pinned under his own weight and his chest is compressed. But there's no air down there. Only recycled breath from the sweaty men pressed against our poor gorilla. And like in a crowd crush, he doesn't die from broken bones. He dies because his lungs cannot find oxygen. And just like that, the giant suffocates and dies. But he's also, he's not the only one. The men closest to him, they're in the same situation. The first couple of layers of men, they die too. And just like that, it's over with. The men, they win. But what's left standing hardly looks like a victory. Bodies are scattered everywhere. The blood stains the floor. It looks like a war zone. And only at this point, about 10 to 20 men make it they hobble out of there alive. And they were the last to attack, so they were the cowards. The cowards make it out. Gosh, this is not a good life lesson for anyone. No! <sighs> so the conclusion of who would win 100 men or one gorilla, the answer is no one. No one wins. And like I promised you at the start, 99% of you will agree with that. Even PETA, PPA, whatever they are. They'll agree for sure. So, in conclusion, I hope that this puts this question to bed. Although I feel like it might not have. But I guess the real question is at the end of the day, who actually wins? 733,000 subscribers or one whip? Such an easy answer, actually. One whip for sure. Anyway, love you guys. I will see you in the next one. What a weird one this one is today. Bye. Woo! Man, I feel, I feel nimble now because it's summer. Woo! Yeah, it could be a gorilla or two. It's summer. It's gonna be, it's been a full, probably about nine months since I've been able to wear a t-shirt in this place. Insane. Summertime.